3D has really uh, come into the 21st century. I think it is uh, probably the most exciting and revolutionary thing that has happened in 60, 70 years since uh, the introduction of sound and color. It's that big a deal. We went from silent movies to sound movies to color, and at every one of those steps, it was said that that was a gimmick, that it wouldn't last. 3D won't last. Of course it will last. It creates a very, a very different experience. You feel as if you're in the film, um, which is kind of mind-blowing. It is actually quite natural. It's how we uh, see things with our natural eyes. And to be able to have that dimensionality um, in any video image we look at enhances the experience, makes it more immersive, uh, and I think amplifies the feelings around it. In terms of business, you know, kind of the sky's the limit. What we have seen happen in movie theaters will uh, over time migrate uh, into the home and into smaller screens. 3D market, which was roughly a million units in the U.S. last year, will grow to about six million units this year. So that's six out of 35 million units. For a consumer electronic, that is a blockbuster. It's been, you know, I think a very successful launch. And it takes an ecosystem. You need content, you need hardware, you need the recording capabilities, the broadcast capabilities, and the distribution partners to bring that alive. Those are no different than the challenges that existed from the shift from analog to digital. In the home, actually, it's going to be driven primarily by sports and gaming. It's now time for the content to drive the take-up. And that should be such a fast rate of acceleration, which you'll see in a year or two that the content will mushroom and therefore the uptake of the TV sets will also mushroom as a result. I think the, the glasses-free environment, we believe, is probably five years or more away. And when the glasses can be put aside and when you can just watch it normally in 3D, we think that'll be a further accelerant to the adoption of 3D in the home. Great storytelling is ultimately what it's all about. And you can put all the bells and whistles, 3D, 4D, 6D, 12D, however many Ds you want to in it. The reason mostly people, first and foremost, you know, want to see our movies is because they're great stories and they make you laugh, they make you cry, and, you know, take you on a great journey. Well, I think for the ads, it's fantastic, right? If you can deliver a real-life experience on the screen, that's going to be priceless for an advertiser because experiential marketing, as you know, is the most effective thing known to mankind. Appetite appeal, erotic appeal, sensuality, because of this technique, man, you're going to drip with promise. All the things that we, you know, work so hard to craft, just how delicious can you make that look? Just how sensual can you make that look? Just how wonderful can you make that sound? These are all hugely important parts of delivering a magical experience to a consumer. Um, so anything that can help do that um, is going to be good. Uh, is going to be good for us because the, if the experience is richer and more rewarding, the consumer will stay with it long and it will have a greater impact. All these video games that you're seeing out there are raising a generation of kids who want enormous involvement, who want extra dimensional involvement. They're not going to be satisfied unless we deliver that. So at the moment, TV, you can hear it and you can see it, right? But you can't smell it, you can't taste it, right? And you can't touch it. With 3D, you can do all those things because you are right in the middle of it. And that's going to lift television through the roof, I think.